India. And online NBC news poll of more than 11,000 respondents revealed that more than half said coronavirus has negatively impacted their love life. According to an online survey of 1,200 Americans conducted by Love Honey, a site that sells erotic toys and lingerie, only 32% of American couples report being sexually happy during, this, during the pandemic. The crisis has resulted in intimacy changes for 63% of couples and 19% of couples are not having any sex at all, the survey found. What's happening? A lot of people in quarantine are not feeling their best or feeling as sexy. Ian Kroner, PhD, psychotherapist and sex counselor told Health Magazine, if you are home all day and you are not changing out of your pajamas or applying as much self-care or going to the gym, your sexual self-esteem can start to go down. You may stop saying your partner has sex too and think of them as just someone familiar. As Mark Twain wrote, familiarity breeds contempt and children. It remains to be seen, though whether familiarity from the COVID-19 crisis will lead to be a baby boom, as it did with Hurricane Sandy, more likely close Quarters have more frequently bred contempt, with 32% of respondents to the Love Honey surveying saying that lockdown stress has increased the number of arguments between partners. The crisis has not led to a romantic lull for everyone. Of course, a stay at home orders have offered an opportunity for more sex and intimacy for some Americans, according to the Lavani survey. 38% of couples said that lockdown has improved their sex life. And more than half, 54% of couples have become more sexually adventurous. But the survey also found that nearly one quarter, 24% of respondents have not being able to get together with their partners because of COVID-19 restriction. Inevitable overall sexual activity has declined because so many of us are obliged to live apart and cease physical contact. But many couples are sexting and enjoying video sex sessions through FaceTime, Zoom and Skype to make separation more bearable, said Annabel Wright. Love on his resident sex and relationship expert. The survey reported that 89% of couples are relying on sexting and 48% of virtual sex to remain intimate. Meanwhile, the IU study found that phone or video sex chatting increased among only 8% of couples during lockdown and decreased among 9%. In the first month of social distancing and stay-at-home guidance, many people experience substantial change in their relationships, said Debbie Harbeck, PhD, MPH, co-author of IU study, a professor in sexual and reproductive health at the IU School of Public Health, Bloomington, while some people found themselves spending time constantly with their romantic or sexual partners. Others found themselves separated from partners or unable to date or meet up with potential partner. The IU researchers found that frequency of the sexual intercourse increased for 12.5% of the studies respondents and decreased for 19.4% and stayed the same for 68%. Romantic activities like hugging, kissing, coding or holding hands as well as certain sexual activities like oral sex and masturbating as a couple decreased among more couples than increased. Conversely, behaviors like masturbating along, sending sexy pictures and watching sexually explicit videos saw greater increase their increased than decreases. The increase of decrease seem to be depend on whether a couple has children and how old the children are. We found that having any children under the age of five at home was associated with greater likelihood of stability and or increase in several partner and viewers while having elementary age children was openly linked to decreased report of this behavior the researchers wrote. Why the difference? Partners of smaller children may be better able to maintain 
pre-pandemic schedules and routines that free some consistent men time for partner sex in ways that may be more challenging for parents of older school age children to do the IU researcher wrote.